Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give you a quick overview on our new graphing puzzle game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. And um, we also have some fun non-math games that are uh, puzzle and arcade-type games that are free also to play. And uh, same with the math games. There's no membership or sign-up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and this is a coordinate grid game where you try to build the mystery picture. And if you're familiar with that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, hang, hang uh, in with the video, and you'll see it soon. So this is the main menu you're looking at right now. More games will take you to our sister site, lofgames.com. They also have more math games and fun games to play, and there's never any membership or sign-up required there to play either. The video will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video. So you can always click that if you want to see uh, how to play again or any of the tips that I might offer in this video. The instructions, we can go ahead and take a look at that. It just tells you how to play, and I'm going to show you how to play, so there's really no reason to sit here and read all that. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and click Play. And at this time, you can choose to play in Quadrant 1, which will have all of the ordered pairs. Of course, it will have positive values. And you can choose also, or you, I should say, you can choose also to play four quadrants on all four quadrants where the images will often be across all four quadrants and you'll have uh, both positive and negative X and Y values in there. Okay, let's go ahead and play, choose, uh, well, I'll go ahead and show you four quadrants and uh, you can choose to play relax mode and that allows you to have as many you can make as many errors as you want and we'll take a look at that versus challenge mode where you only can make a certain amount of errors on each level or i should say each picture before it starts over again and we'll look at both of those in just a sec but uh let's go ahead and take a look at first we'll take a look at the relax mode and now here you, there's 10 pictures you can uh, that you need to create and the one you can only of course you can only start at when you start out you'll be at level one and as you get complete one you can move on to two and so forth um, if you get on a pc and somebody else has been playing or you want to start over just hit the clear button clear data button and you'll have the option of yes or no and basically if you click yes uh, let's go ahead and go back in here it will reset all this back to the start again and you might want to do that if you uh, want to start over if somebody else has done all of them and you just kind of want to work be sure you work all the way through all the levels so let's go ahead and click the first one now this is four quadrant mode so you have all four quadrants available to uh, that the figure might be on so it says level one it tells you what level you're on it says a three-sided figure so, and it gives you a list of ordered pairs, and you'll work through these left to right. Now, we're in relaxed mode, so I can choose anywhere, and if it's wrong, it just shows me a red dot. And it shows me down here which one that I should be looking for, what ordered pair. So, the first ordered pair is negative 2, 5. Let's go across negative 2, and up 5. And if I get... Well, I'm going to show me it's wrong, but once I get it right, now I have the sound off, and you can turn the sound off and on down here, but it'll make a little dinging noise versus the, uh, when you get an error, it'll get make a little ugly noise. And, uh, but I have the sound turned off, so you won't hear that in the video. And now, the ne as you can see, I got the negative 2, 5 ordered pair correct, and it's green now. As if I choose the next one, and it's wrong, I go neg but I'm going to go ahead and get it correct this time. Negative 5, negative 5. Oh, see, I made an error there. And, that, and in challenge mode, you'll see in a minute, that would have counted as an error. There we go. And last point, 3, negative 5. And you can't really see it because of the box, but if you look, it tells you that you've completed the puzzle. And you can drag this the box to view your creation. So you can move that over and you can see what it is. Now at this point I can go back to the main menu or I can go to the next one. And it says L7 is a shape. Well, um, 
that's kind of a reference to, if you think about L7, it's a square. And this particular one is a square, and it's like that. But you'll have to plot that yourself when you play the game. So, anyways, let's go back and look at... That was quad, four quadrants. And actually, I don't need to show the challenge mode in four quadrants, because it'll be the same as in quadrant one, challenge mode. And you can see that I've already done the first one. All the puzzles are the same in quadrant one and quadrant four, um, but it's just the, quad, the, the quadrants that are different. Let's go ahead and clear the data on that to show you how that works. Go back in, quadrant one. Go to challenge mode. Choose one. Now, it looks very similar, exactly like the other one. And you have basically the same figure to, to come up with, but... If you notice, it says wrong there, wrong answers, or you've, you've made zero wrong answers out of three. So you've got three wrong answers. Let's go ahead and make three wrong answers. And it says, sorry, please try again. So we're going to do that. We're going to go eight across 15. I'll make an error. And it's showing me, like the other one, that this is the one ordered pair I need to plot. And this one is incorrect. So they match up saying it's incorrect. And there's the incorrect one. So let's go ahead and go eight. 15. Now, I've got to be very careful because making this video, I can make an error. There's a good one. And it would be all over with. So, 3, 5, and 13. And there it is. And I can see it. A little celebration confetti there. And uh, so, you've seen how that works when I make all three errors. But I made one wrong error, but that's fine because I had two more I could have made. But... Uh, um, I didn't, and there's a picture, and we can go on just like the other one. You go to the next one, L7 is a shape, and there's some uh, fun little puzzles uh, to, to pictures, I should say, to uh, draw in here to plot, and uh, some of them get more complicated because they will have more than one list. This, this area will be filled up with ordered pairs to plot. So that's how you play the game. I hope you have fun playing, and uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope it helps some.